Hello everyone. I'm Deborah from Deborah Adele's Craft Room. Tonight we're going to paint a ladybug on a mini bottle gourd. I hope you enjoy the video. These are the products that we'll be using to paint the ladybug. They are Americana acrylic paints by Deco Art. The colors are graphite, light buttermilk, toffee, red iron oxide, Santa red, lamp black, and Emperor's Gold by Dazzling Metallics. We'll be using DuraClear gloss varnish when the project is complete. The first thing we do is we find the best side of the gourd and then we find the center of that best side of the gourd and I apparently drew this years ago and found the found the gourd in a box of gourds so I'm going to finally paint it what I did to draw it was to draw a heart shape for the forehead and then I came out from that to make like a cheek on each side and I'm doing it a little differently than I had originally planned and I bring the face down I had it down to the collar, but I'm going to just take it down to here right now. And then I made the wings, and I'm changing that as well, starting a little, almost to the middle, almost to the middle where the, I don't want the wings to meet at the neck, I want them to be about a quarter of an inch apart. Okay. And you just bring it down like you do for capes and and things like that. Okay. All right, so I have that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little bit of a scalloped edge around the head. I don't want it to be a straight line where two different colors meet. So I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to make scallop marks all around. I originally put a, a line all around the gourd's neck. So I'm going to use that line, but just for a guide for the scallops. Now when you do them, try to do them the same. Go from one side to the other. See that? And then do another one. So we got two on this side, so now we're going to do a third one on this side. And a third one on this side. And luckily, I ended up with only one left in the middle of the back. Okay, this is going to be a lady ladybug, not a boy ladybug. But anyway, I am, when you get to the center of the back, I want to put a little slit in the wings to show that there are two different wings. And, um, if you want, instead of leaving this pointed, you can round it off. I had a lot of different ideas back then. I think I drew this 20 years ago. Okay, so that's it. It's drawn.
Okay. Now this is the belly, and that is going to be black. These are the wings, and they're going to be red. This is going to be black down here. The whole head is going to be black, and the face is going to be toffee. Since the gourd is not painted at all yet, I'm going to take a little bit of my water and try to rub out that uh, pencil mark where the red is going to be, so I don't have to, you know, worry about that. The extra pencil that I put in a long time ago is what I'm talking about. Okay, and then over here, the same thing. They just wipe off. Unless you have a really porous surface on your gourd, and then it'll be a little harder. So, let's see. Oh, that worked out well. Okay, great. Okay, now I had to put a, just a couple little lines back in because they wiped out too. Okay. Let's see. On this side, on this side. They're even. Okay. I'm going to paint this face toffee. Well, I painted this white and I didn't need to because this is going to be black. I should have painted the wings white so when we put the red over the top, those little spots don't show. So now I'm going to do that. I'm going to paint the wings white first. So when you put the red on, it shows up better. It's brighter. Now I'm painting the body and the belly black. I'm doing the points first and then I'm going to get a different a different brush so it goes on faster. Okay, now I'm going to put another coat of uh, toffee on the face. Okay, now I'm going to paint the, uh, the red wings. I'm going to start with all of these little corners here, the Santa red. Okay, this is just one coat. It's going to need at least two, maybe, maybe three. 
And I think I'm going to work on the, uh, the head now. I have a place to hold here, you know, on this black because it's dry. So I'll be able to, you know, turn it and hold it without touching the red. Okay, I have here a number two flat. And because these corner, these little scoops are so small, I'm going to use a really small flat brush to, to do it. Okay, now. Go around each one. I'll, I'll have to go up to them again with the red, so there might be some touching up to do. Because I haven't got the patience to wait for the, ne for the next color to dry. Or the last color to dry. So here I am, painting ahead. See how it's looking now? Okay, I have the head done and the face is touched up. The uh, bottom, it's got a little scratch here. Let me get that out of there. Okay, and I'm going to do another coat on the red. I put all the colors on, touched it up and did all that. And then I put a little dot in the very center of that face because I'm going to put a clay nose on this ladybug. And I also put two, two dots up here because we're going to put some antennas on the ladybug as well. Okay, now very carefully Drill the hole for the nose. Now, for the antenna. Okay, I'm going to fill those antenna in with some uh, black paint so the gourd color doesn't show through. And I'm going to do the same thing. Well, I don't have to do the same thing for the nose because it'll cover. The nose will cover the hole. Now I have to decide what color. Well, the antenna ends are red. These were going to be Rudolph noses, little Rudolph noses. And I saw them and I thought, oh, they would make cute antenna for the antennae for the ladybug. So I just want to paint this a color. I'm not really sure what color. 
probably yeah I think I'll paint them black try not to get any black paint on the on the red end of the antenna I'm not going to put these in until the end. Okay. okay, I'm pulling the nose back out so I can do some shading. Now with the red iron oxide, we are going to shade the face. They have discontinued this color, which is hard to believe because it's so such a good color. But uh, so you can use a terracotta for this, Delane's dark flesh, even maybe even burnt burnt sienna. But I don't have any replacements for it yet, so I'm going to keep on using it until I figure out which color I want to use to replace it. Don't worry if you go up into the black because we can always touch up. I'm not going to paint fancy eyes on this because I think the face is too small. If I wasn't going to put a nose on, fancy eyes would be okay, but I'm just going to make these black dip dot eyes. They're kind of big for dip dots, but I think they'll be good. Now they have to dry. I'm going to play around with a couple little details while I'm waiting for the, uh, the eyes to dry. Okay, I'm going to put some of those little lines in like I did for uh, Dracula. Because I like them. And I'm going to line these scallops with the graphite as well. 
where the black meets the black. Okay, if I'm really careful, I can shade the wings with black while I'm waiting for the eyes to dry. Now I'm going to go all the way up. I put a little ridge of paint when I came up this. You can see it. I left it high so I could bring the shading on each side of it to separate the wings. I'm going to start down here to do the other wing, but then I'll come back and do all the way up the center on this side. Now I'm going to shade underneath the scallops. I'm going to have to do that once one side of it at a time thing. I mean one scallop at a time it looks like, okay. Do one, skip one. So that you don't run into the last shading. Now I'm going to go up the other side here, or down the other side, out of that center. Okay, I'm putting the nose in. A little glue there. It's bubbling out a little, but that's okay because it'll hold this hold the nose in place when it hits. There you go. Yeah. This nose was red before. And I painted it the toffee color. Okay, let's, before we put the dots on the back of the wing, I'm going to work on the eyelashes and eyebrows and things. Okay, make your paint a little inky, like thin, 
and I'm going to put the eyebrows on first. It's just a thin, nice light touch when you put them on. Ooh, ooh. Wild hand, okay. Well, come out all right, I guess. All right, now the eyelashes. This is going to be a girl, so make her eyelashes nice and long. I'm going to get the uh, eyeshadow because you know how I forget. And I got a scruffy brush. I'm going to use the same tone as the shading, which is that red iron oxide one. And I'm going to put a blush here. cheek. Should have done this right after I drilled the nose, but I didn't. Okay. And I'm going to blush the nose with this. If your nose is not secure, you want to wait until it is. Now I'm going to do a heart-shaped mouth with red. Santa Red. Using a very small end of a brush. Putting two dip dots there. She doesn't look like a very happy ladybug. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to highlight the eyes with little dip dots. And I'm gonna put a dip dot on the nose And now I'm going to, I think I'll put the antenna in, the antennae. Let me get a toothpick and kind of force that into the hole a little. I'll do both of them here. That way it won't gudge out all over the place. And I don't think gudge is a word, but I say it anyway. Okay. Okay, now let's see. Push 
push these in. <laughs> he looks like a little Martian. These might not have been a good idea, but there you have it. They're there. They're in. If there were no holes in the gourd, they wouldn't be still there. Okay. Antenna. Probably should have come up closer together. I'll have to think these over. Maybe patch the holes like I did on that spider. Okay, now we're going to use the never before used to erase anything eraser to put the dots on the wings. Okay, now I'm trying to decide. Okay, I'm going to put, oh, wrong side. I'm going to put one here. One here. So far, so good. I'm going to go across to the other side and try to place it right across. Ladybugs are very symmetrical. Ooh, it's cute. It's getting cuter. Okay, now. I'm going to put one here in the front, one down farther in the front, carefully hold this and do the other side, looking across while I do it. Okay, and now I'm going to do the center of each set of four. And then on the other one, the same thing. And I hope I don't touch any of these dots by accident, because you know. I do that. Okay. Ugh. I don't know if that's good enough. No, it's not good. That one is not good. Apparently, I didn't put the center in right. The center line. Oh, look at that. It came right off. Nice. Okay, now again with this one, I'm going to put this here a little farther over. There we go. And let me see. Oh, no, she's not done yet. She is not done. I'm going to get some gold paint. Put some more dip dots on. I'm dip dotting the buttons in the front of her dress here, whatever it is. Three gold dots. Just hope they don't go off at an angle like usual. There we go. Three gold dots. Are they crooked? No, they're good enough. And I'm going to get my liner brush. And put a bow. If you'd rather, you could glue a bow on. I did not touch up the shading around the face. 
This thing is so darn cute that I'm wondering why I didn't do it for 20 years. It's crazy. Okay. This Martian ladybug. You know, if you painted this green, you could make it into a Martian. Anyway, I think it's done. I don't know, is it missing something? Antenna, nose, buttons, polka dots. I think that's it. I think she's done. Get her back, turn her around, see what she looks like all around. If you wanted, you could drill a hole, hang her on your Christmas tree. Some people love ladybugs, and they would hang them on their Christmas tree. So there you have it. Okay. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if there is one and you'll get notified of future videos. I think we're going to name her Annabelle, the ladybug. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye now.